Assalamu alaikum. I am Kamran Hussain from Bangladesh. Today I want to show you a Siemens HMI. Actually, this HMI is not power on problem. So, I want to show you front side on this HMI. This HMI is uh, now using a gas plant. So let's go. First of all, I want to show you how to remove this cover. First, remove this cover. second discover you can see this is the part number and model number this HMI this is TP 1500 comfort ITC 1500 this is 15 inch <coughs> there is another part and there is uh, mention some option uh, like L plus is 24 volt input and M is minus and there is so many function uh, right now we are only use this DC 24 volt input <coughs> and you can see this is the last part of this HMI uh, when you open this HMI very carefully because uh, there is so many uh, component is very sensitive <coughs> already uh, we are observed this HMI and we have found a burn place uh, you can see that is burn and we have cleaned this we have cleaned this uh, part but now is still not getting on so now i show you some impedance on this coil You can see this is the common negative on this board and yes good value good value good value and this is the 24 volt input yes this also good value <coughs> this is negative line on this track and this is positive line there is no showing any continuity so now i want to remove this pcb on this panel board for easy to repair this is our main PCB so <coughs> this is our fault area uh, this pin is negative yes this showing continuity good value and this is positive so they connect a fuse on this track 
yes use this we're putting a jumper wire for test purpose but now we remove this jumper wire you can see here is a little bit dot for connect between this pin and this dot so we are don't getting any continuity on this point that's mean this track internally damaged so we are put a jumper wire for test purpose here to here and uh, we are replace this fuse Yes, we we'll remove this fuse and we'll replace this fuse from another board. It's taking few minutes for searching. We have no same fuse in our stock, that's why we have put equivalent fuse on this track.
okay we are replaced this fuse successfully and we have put this jumper wire and we are checking impedance okay You can see there is impedance is showing. Now we are connect this PCB with this HMI panel. Assemble this cable. This is touch panel where and now we can connect. We have no socket, that's why we need to open this PCB and connect again. Yes, you can see HMI light is glowing. I think display is showing. You can see, you can see display is showing. power off and now I power on this circuit see symmetric HMI is open you can see now is showing display properly Thank you, thanks for watching. If you have any problem this type of HMI and PLC, you can contact with us. Please subscribe my channel and if you want to get this type of video, please subscribe my channel and press bell button. Thank you, thanks for watching.